truth guys I cut it out and I guess we're gonna see if this thing works I'm hoping it does cuz I really don't plan on redoing this all <laughs> so let's see if this thing will fit with my measurements that I made I should have probably put my head my chesty on it's been a lot easier to do it look at that okay look at that perfect three quarters of an inch all the way around this guy wow that's perfect I like it I like it a lot oh that's that's why feels like it felt like there was a little gap there there we go perfect perfect there's a little little bit snug somewhere but that looks good gotta screw that down there screw that down over there and this this was looking good not too bad not too shabby these bolts should just toss right in like so. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Next step. I got to take this all out again. Take the plywood out, I should say. And I got to seal this whole thing now. So then no water comes from the top and none gets from the bottom and it's all... Uh, well, nice and water resistant for on the boat so check right back to you later okay guys I went obviously you just saw that I test fitted it everything fit good I actually went and I trimmed a little tiny bit around the outside and I went and I trimmed the hatch may, maybe uh, eighth inch all the way around just to let enough room of the carpet go so that it's not a super snug fit in there I can't get it shut now I just got done uh, sealing it with the multi-purpose waterproofer so it no water should get on this at all and get into my wood and rot it that was my big concern and one other thing I forgot to mention in the very beginning when I framed my boat with the wood, I did not use treated wood at all. I just used regular wood, but I also sealed it with this. I also sealed the wood with this, and then I just I painted it with uh with the uh, what is that a paint and paint and primer? Yeah, rust oleum. I painted it with rust oleum, so then all those screws and brackets that I used would not. Uh, get rusty if they happen to get water to them on the boat uh, So I have to let Let both these dry 12 to 24 hours And then what I'm gonna do is flip them both over coat them one more time And then I am gonna uh, Lay the carpet down grab my glue that I got sitting over there and I should be able to wrap this wrap this portion of carpet and get this going and then I gotta work on the other half of the boat but that's that's for another time I need to get this going right now how's it going everybody uh, I went ahead and I went and carpeted it all up uh, stupid me I bought the wrong glue for this carpet so there is some spots in here that are a little bubbly but not too but it turned out too bad I uh, really like it uh, I went uh, I stapled it all underneath and I just pulled everything really tight made sure everything fit nice and for my hinge I didn't want a big hinge showing everywhere so I went and I bought some uh, piano uh, hinges just one big long piano hinge it all goes all the way down the boat and it's nice there's a little tiny bump there but 
I'd rather have that little tiny bump than a huge hinge that's showing. And it actually fits really snug. If I push down really hard, it's, you know, it lines, it gets, goes right in there. I still got to put a handle on this thing, but looks pretty good. I might, I'll probably, like, insulate this yet a little bit, so I'll put some uh, little insulating stuff on the back backside just in case but uh but yeah this half of the project's done at least i just gotta do this half now work my way this way i got the i got the main stuff done and now i get to go put my angle brackets on here and do that so just wanted to keep you guys up to date and how this project's going so far. So, catch you guys next time.